What's going on guys, boy Joey672 coming to you guys with it right now. So the news came out this morning during the press conferences of Howie Roseman, Doug Peterson. Uh, first thing said was Nick Foles will not be franchise tagged. Apparently from Ian Rappaport, it was already kind of, uh, the Denver Broncos were a team that were interested, but once, uh, you know, the Denver Broncos traded for Joe Flacco, um, it was only really down to one team, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Jaguars um, especially were interested, but were not interested to trade with the Eagles at all. Um, so since the, so the Eagles didn't franchise Nick Foles and now, uh, Nick Foles is going to walk, um, Eagles get some cap space back and going to, uh, walk into free agency unscathed and going to walk free. Other things that were said, uh, during this, uh, press conference were a few players and, you know, kind of what the plan is and what the Eagles are going to do this year. Now we know Jason Peters has been, uh, is due to make $13 million this year, um, if the Eagles release or cut him, um, he will, uh, the Eagles will get, uh, 10.5 million back to the cap. Now, Howard Roseman has a lot of high praise for Jason Peters, a first ballot Hall of Famer and, um, a guy that they kind of want to work something out with Jason Peters. Um, but that's that they can really, all they can really do with him is maybe restructure him to stay for another year, lessen that cap hit a little bit. Um, and they can get rid of them next year. Um, so it's a big decision. Jordan uh, Malata that was drafted in the sixth round last year from Australia that played rugby. He's a prime candidate to maybe be a starter. Um, but there's one other name um, to really look out for. And that's Matt Pryor that we drafted last year from TCU as a tackle. Um, now he came on to the Eagles as a guard. Um, but they have moved him to tackle a little bit at a time. So one name to look out for, which Howie Roseman mentioned, was Matt Pryor. And uh, could be a really good thing. How, as of Holly Puli Vadi Vitae, I'm probably going to guess that he's going to be the swing tackle uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles. He could play left or right, but most likely he plays left a lot better. Howie Roseman talked about uh, Nelson Aguilar as well, you know, tell, talking about how much of a competitor he is um, and like what he's doing. And, uh, you know, Nelson Aguilar is another guy, nine point something million dollar cap hit this year. And um, it's going to be really, I mean, personally, I don't want Nelson to go. Um, if they want to, you know, give him a new contract, extend him this way, the cap hit, he's, he's not putting up the numbers to make that much money, um, in a year. So, um, since the Eagles picked up his option, pretty much the last thing is that Howie Rosen pretty much said the Eagles are going to stay pretty damn aggressive, um, during this whole process, whether it's the draft, free agency, the Eagles are going to stay very aggressive. He promised the Eagles are going to stay aggressive um, and and create this roster. Um, and I hope he does. And uh, he's been he's you know past few years he's been saying he's going to stay aggressive, stay aggressive in the off season. And there are a lot of moves to be made. And uh, I believe Howie can do it. Um, I don't know why other fans of other teams or other people that I've talked to have said, "How are the Eagles going to?" The Eagles have no cap. The Eagles have no cap. Cap. Uh, you know, some people just don't know anything about contracts um, and what the Eagles, the Eagles could <laughs> do a lot, um, you know, to get back some cap space, okay, with Timmy Jernigan not picking up Timmy Jernigan's option. And then, you know, a big decision if Jason Peters gets released. That's another 10.5. Brandon Graham being gone, that's another 7. If they want to get rid of Chris Long, that's another 6 or 7 right there. So the Eagles can have a significant amount of cap space, 25 to 30-something million in cap. Um, and they can go out and get pieces and, and really form this team really well. Especially since if they want to, the first thing they need to do, the first thing they really need to do is get this D-line um, straightened out because all you really have right now is Michael Bennett, Derek Barnett, Fletcher Cox, and, and Trayvon Hester right now. And that's really all you got on the D-line uh, since, you know, uh, Haloti Nada is gone. Um, you know, Chris Long, they don't know if they're going to bring him back or whatnot. So that's a whole nother decision as well. Brandon Graham is probably going to walk into free agency. He was, he's going to have a lot of interest. Um, his interest is buzzing. Um, and then you go to the cornerback spot. Cornerbacks, Ronald Darby, they're not picking Picking up, you know, they're not going to give him a new contract. Of course, he he definitely doesn't deserve a big money. Um, and you just got to work with what you got right now. McLeod got restructured, so he will be a Philadelphia Eagle for one more year. So you have some things going on. Linebacker spot, Jordan Hicks. 
I don't know what the hell they're going to do with Jordan Hicks. Is he going to get a new contract or the Eagles going to pay him? You know, the guy's been hurt every damn year since he's been drafted, uh, even in college when he played for the Longhorns. Um, you know what I mean? So, you know, all you have at linebacker is Nigel Bradham. Um, and uh, we signed one of the old the other linebackers, Nate Gary. Um, you know, so you got a few guys there, but you don't have an elite level at the linebacker group at all. So the Eagles got some homework to do. So from these press conferences that I heard this morning, it's a pretty good sign of what's good, what's to come. Eagles are going to stay aggressive, and the Eagles have a lot of tough decisions to make um, in the near future. So I guess we got to play the waiting game. Free agency is right around the corner, guys, and uh, and that's really it. So that's all I got to say about this. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about the moves that we could make um, if Jason Peters should go, if Nelson Aguilar should be trade bait. Or, um, you know, try to maybe extend him another two years, extend that money so it's not a big cap hit. So let me know what you guys think about the offensive line as well. Matt Pryor, could Matt Pryor step up? Um, and it's great because most of these offensive linemen are very diverse and could learn multiple positions. Guard and if you have a guy that learns guard and tackle, another move that the Eagles could make is Stefan Wisniewski could be, get released traded or whatnot he's a prime starter got beaten by Isaac Samalo this year for the starting job and he wasn't really happy about it you get rid of Wisniewski you save three million dollars towards the cap so <laughs> there's a lot of moves to be made guys but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about what was said this morning and and possibly some of the moves that could be made so let me know in the comment section below I will see you guys later shake squad up fly I'll fly